The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while, I, while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Please pray for me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Our Lady, Queen of the Seraphic Order, pray for us. good Saint Joseph, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Here today we celebrate the new life in Jesus Christ, who by the power of God raised himself from the dead. No other person has ever foretold of his own resurrection and actually done this by himself. Therefore verifying that he had two natures, Otherwise, he would not be God, nor would he be infinite. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, his body died. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the triune God, is the same spirit that will raise us, his children, from corporal death. To be reunited with our immortal soul, which was infused into our bodies at conception. Mary of Magdala, the saint of today, is a saint for all times, a disciple of Jesus, a saint who lived a life looking for love. And only when she found her eternal love, Jesus, did she truly know what love is. Love is life in Jesus. In this life, she chose a better life. She could not leave him, and when? He was taken down from the cross and placed in the tomb. Mary missed him terribly. Little did she know that her role as an apostle of hope was about to commence. She did not let a rock, a wall, barriers or fears prevent her from pursuing her Lord and Saviour. She went to the tomb hopeful that some way the sealed tomb would be able to be opened. She was the first to go. Nothing would stop her. Get up and go. Zeal. She found the rock moved and upon entry into the tomb observed that the body of Jesus had been removed. She ran to notify Peter and John. She became the messenger to the Pope. However, when Peter and John arrived at the tomb, they noticed something unusual. Not only the absence of the body, but the head covering was folded. That meant his body was not stolen. Later, the shroud, as we know it today, the shroud of Turin showed that the body of Jesus passed through the shroud. And this was consistent with the church's dogmatic proclamation that Mary was a virgin before 
during and after the birth of her son. And Mary is a perpetual virgin. She remained a virgin and Jesus' infant body passed through the womb, a miraculous birth. And later, his body passed through the wall of the closed upper room after the resurrection. And again, his body remaining with his divine nature, reunited with his human soul and passed through the walls of the tomb at Calvary. It was the angel who removed the rock. The understanding from the senses has verified the resurrection to the two, Peter and John. Now faith needed to be ongoing from their testament, the two of them, the two apostles, passed on by all who lived and followed Jesus before and after his death. Pope Francis has drawn attention to this great saint of Mary Magdalene, he signed a decree in 2016 increasing the liturgical celebration honouring the saint from a memorial to a feast, putting her on par with the apostles. May we seek the zeal and courage of Mary Magdalene to pursue and be with Jesus, who is fully present in the Blessed Sacrament, to kneel as she did at his feet, to not be busied, to go to him every opportunity we encounter. Praise be the names of Jesus and Mary.